Today we are changing the gear oil in a 2014 uh, Nissan Rogue and um, so it's a pretty simple procedure um, but first let me walk you through all the materials and tools you need. Okay so what do we need to do this job? We need a 10 mil Allen, um, an extension um, this length or longer would be good obviously a ratchet and then a, I have a breaker bar in case if you're you know strong enough then you're fine but um, if the plugs are in too tight that we're going to take out then this is a great way to go so you got a giant breaker bar here um, then what else do we need well I'm gonna use an under I'm gonna have a car on a lift so I've got a drain pan that you can roll underneath um, and raise it up but otherwise just need a garden variety drain pan then you're going to need a quart of gear oil. So I'm going with, uh, well, it's 80, 90 weight, but I'm going with this Lucas gear oil. You can source whatever your local parts store has. Um, this is just what I have on hand. All right. And then lastly, um, a pump. So this pump goes in the bottle so that you can basically uh, get it in the rear differential without spilling a whole bunch and making a mess. So that's what you need to complete this job. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is you're gonna to wanna to basically get a socket with an extension, a hex or an Allen um, 10 millimeter socket. And basically the way it works is you don't have a lot of room, so they have this hole in the chassis. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna push this in through, and I already did this off camera, just, just try and do this, but basically get that in there. And then I had to use my breaker bar um, so I have this giant breaker bar and I use it to get it loose and then once it's loose you can just hand thread it out. So let me put down the wrench and I'll show you how I do that. Okay, so now let's hand thread this out. Now one rule about any time I work on anything I have to drain a fluid out of is you do not, you always take out the filler plug first. Because if you can't get the filler plug um, out then you shouldn't be taking out the drain plug because at least it's still drivable till you can decide what to do. So we'll just slide that out through the frame and set that off to the side. And from what I can tell right here you can see the remnants of the oil and there's like no metal shavings anywhere so this is probably pretty good but based on the age I'm going to change it. You can stick your finger in there and um, it should be full up to the top. Um, in my case it's uh, close but it's not perfect so we'll go ahead and uh, get that filled to the top. And so next we'll take out this. So let's go get the oil drain pan and we'll get after it. So I used two hands to break it loose off camera and you can see that this is now ready to spin out. Let's get my socket wrench off. Okay, so now I got my socket wrench off. But like I said, I broke it loose two hands. This one wasn't as bad as the top one. So there we go. And then I got my oil catch pan down here. So we'll just let this uh, fall out. And actually, before I do that, I'm going to get my pan up a little higher, so bear with me. Okay, so I've got it loose, so I'm just going to pull this out. And then the thing that we can do, and you can see, and that's the only thing that makes me not super happy about this. All this I'm pulling off with my fingers, all this silvery stuff. That's metalware, and, and so that's never great. So we'll clean up this drain plug. Obviously, there's no other problems with this, but this is basically why you have to do this service because this is basically like little sandpaper running through your rear diff here and you don't want that. All right, so all the oil was drained out and then I just took a shop rag and I cleaned off the drain plug so all those metal filings are gone. Uh, you might have noticed that the washer stayed behind on there so I peeled that washer off um, and I put it back on here because you're gonna want that or probably more better set as a gasket, but anyway. So I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, you know, you don't wanna strip this stuff, but. I'm going to go ahead and thread this in. I might do it with uh, two hands off camera, then I'll show you how to torque it down. All right, so you can tor definitely torque these by feel, but the, if you have a torque wrench, um, then this gets torqued to 26 foot-pounds, and it's always the preferable way to go because you know you just got it on there according to the manufacturer's recommendations. Let's see if I can do this um, on camera. I'll try and give you the full view. All right, so it's torqued down. So next, um, we'll go ahead and put some gear oil in this.
Um, now, obviously, I pumped just a little bit too much in, um, and so I'm just going to wait until that's completely done draining, and then I'll move on to the next part. All right, it's done draining, and so now I'm just going to go ahead and take my extension with my hex bit, and I'm going to go ahead and just thread it in there. Um, there wasn't really any cleanup to do because the top part doesn't have a magnet, so, you know, nothing to worry about there. So now I'm just going to basically hand thread this in and then we'll torque it down the same way we did the other one. But I won't bore you with that. Uh, 26 uh, foot pounds on the, um, on the torque wrench. Okay, so I've got everything torqued down. I'll just clean up the, a little bit of oil, but that's basically all you need to do to change the oil in the rear or differential in a 2014 Nissan Rogue.